Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: Roseanne just got incredible news days after show was canceled. Dems furious. The last three days have been a wild ride for Roseanne Barr and America in general. She created a fiery whirlwind of people being upset on social media that is still raging. Roseanne was fired for a tweet she made against Valerie Jarrett that is considered racist. ABC canned her by the end of the day, even though Barr apologized and begged they not cancel her show. A massive boycott of ABC is now underway and more than 100,000 people have signed a petition for a different network to pick up her show. The petition was posted with an initial goal of 50,000 signatures, but in just over 48 hours, they more than doubled that amount. In fact, they are closing in on 110,000 signatures as I write this. Considering the firestorm others have created out there with vile tweets such as Joy Reid and Samantha Bee, it is not far-fetched to think that some other network like Fox would pick the show up. It broke all the records for viewership and would be a moneymaker. But so far, none have suggested it. If ABC doesn't want the show in one form or another, then some other network should, because Roseanne's audience is still screaming for more. It appeals to the common man and was one of the few on television that Americans can actually relate to anymore. Last Man Standing with Tim Allen was picked up by Fox and will start their seventh season this fall after being axed by ABC. The show was too conservative for the network even though it was their second biggest draw. But after fans overwhelmingly demanded it is brought back, Fox stepped up and the show will once again be a huge hit and an even bigger moneymaker. One wonders if Fox is tempted by Roseanne as well. You don't have to condone what Roseanne said to watch the show or to see it for the hit it is. Both Joy Reid and Samantha Bee apologized for saying things equally as bad and they were forgiven. Perhaps Roseanne should be afforded the same grace. Americans are disgusted by the double standard they see playing out with these TV personalities. The only difference between Roseanne and Reid and B is Roseanne went after Obama's conciliary Valerie Jarrett. Reid went after many on both sides and B went after Ivanka and President Trump. So, the message being sent is that it's okay to savage those on one side, but not the other. It was pointed out, we're not necessarily defending Roseanne's comments, but we are pointing out a disgusting double standard. ABC allows the ladies of The View to call Christians mentally ill, but they fired Roseanne at the first sign of controversy. Not only that, but ABC also employs Jimmy Kimmel, who openly mocks our first lady's accent. Somehow, the liberals on the network never suffer the consequences, but conservatives do, see, Tim Allen. TBS has removed Samantha Bee's entire offensive full frontal with Samantha Bee's episode, which featured comments by the host who called Ivanka Trump a feckless CT, according to The Ramp. But she still has a job. Joy Reid apologized over and over today, yet she still has a show at MSNBC. If ABC wants to commit media SE let them, but the witch hunt over free speech needs to end. You don't have to like what someone says. But if they do it on their own time, they should get a warning, not tank for it. Unless they really aren't sorry and will just do it again like Samantha B does. Immediately after apologizing to Ivanka, she went to an awards ceremony honoring her and said that one word shouldn't make everyone freak out. That the subject was Trump and illegal immigration and that is what should be focused on. Sorry, but not sorry was the message there. Joy Reid's show on MSNBC may not last as old hateful blog posts just keep on surfacing. At first she said she was hacked and when that didn't work she sort of admitted doing them. But even MSNBC has limits on all this bad publicity. As for Samantha B, she may get sacked for her ratings and not her lousy language. Her viewership over the last year has cratered. I actually think she thought going after Ivanka this way would get her more attention. It did, just not the kind she wanted. If just one petition within a couple of days can get over 100,000 signatures to bring Roseanne back, then I'll bet you some network out there is considering it. Here are some of the comments in support of bringing Roseanne back. Nicole Calio Winman, why doesn't ABC cancel the view they insult Trump and others daily? Ray Raymond, what's the difference between what that alleged comedian did to Sarah Sanders on television and what others are saying about Donald Trump and Melania they all get trashed and nothing's done? One little truthful tweet about VJ and all hell breaks loose, no justice. Teresa Wilson-Lewis, I don't like what she said but there are other people who should be kicked off ABC as well. The view for one. Double standards. Kathy Carter. Hope Fox will pick it up, love the show. Those are just a few. Sounds like Americans want Roseanne back. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe.
Thank you.